everybody welcome back to vlogmas day what day is it seven day eight day eight is it going up tomorrow okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay so i'm here with my bff natalie hi and we are going to a local maker's market and we're going to see what we can find there and it's going to be really hectic and really cool mm -hmm. and we're going to have fun yay <laughs> I'm back from the market. It was so fun. It was so sweet. I didn't get to record a ton of things while I was there because there was so many people and as I've mentioned, I get kind of shy. I'm home now and I just finished editing yesterday's vlog, which is the latest that I have uploaded a video probably ever. I actually forgot to bring my computer with me to babysitting because I wasn't thinking that I would have time to edit, but um, I also didn't realize that like once she goes to bed we can kind of do whatever we want So I completely forgot about that. I haven't babysat in a long time. So anyway, the vlog went up kind of late I hope you guys don't mind this one went up on time thankfully, but anyway Well, I'm kind of speaking that into the future because I don't see why it wouldn't go up on time I'm sitting here. Leo could not be laying any closer to me. He just Man, he loves me. He loves me so much <laughs> He's so cuddly today. I think that he's a little bit tired from all the activity yesterday. Do you hear me talking about you? <laughs> I wanted to share with you guys something that I got at the market and I'm actually wearing it. My lipstick. I'm trying to make sure that I'm in focus because in yesterday's video I was out of focus for like three minutes straight and that is so annoying. So I'm trying to make sure. <sighs> I've never filmed in this position before, <laughs> but I really don't want to get up because I'm so comfortable in this bed. Um, okay, so this is a lipstick. It is by the company Nip Lips. We're not gonna focus. And it is basically um, lipstick that is custom or like mostly custom tailored to your nipple color, which I hope I don't get demonetized for saying that word, but we've all got them. And actually there's this thing, this belief that your the color of your nipple is the perfect shade of lipstick that you should use. So this is not actually the color of my um, but it's a similar shade. And so this is what it looks like. But it looks really nice. I think that it is like, it's more of like an orangey nude. I don't know how to explain it, but it's called Muy Caliente. And I really love it. I really love lipstick. I think that lipstick is so fun, but I don't really have any colors that are kind of neutral. So this is probably the most neutral lipstick that I have because I have really dark purple kind of, and then a red. And I, I love wearing lipstick, but this feels like red lipstick, but not red lipstick. So I really love it. And they actually have an app where you can take a photo of your nipple, but it doesn't take, a, it doesn't actually take a photo. It just takes the color and then it'll match you with one of their shades that is like the closest match for you. Um, if you're interested, I'll have their info linked down below. Obviously I paid for it with my own money and they don't know that I'm shouting them out. I feel like I have to say that um, so that, I don't know. Anyway, so I really am so excited about it. They give you three options and you pick between the three of them. This was my number one match and I like this one the most because the other ones kind of blended in with my skin a lot and um, this one kind of felt like the most pop. I think that I'm going to start our stockings today and knowing me, I'm going to start them and finish them today because that's just who I am. So we will see. I have all the materials just sitting in a bag right here and I'm looking at it and it's just burning a hole in the floor and I just need to get it done. So maybe I'll bring you along on that adventure. Well, not maybe. I will bring you along on that adventure and I found a lot of PDF patterns for stockings, so I'll probably just print one out. I have a little printer. I found a lot of really cool like patchwork design stuff that will help me because it's my first quilting project. So anyway, let's start doing that. It's been a few hours and I'm going to admit <laughs> I did not at all work on the stockings, but because I'm just a workaholic, I wanted to get the next two weeks of plant videos finished and edited and uploaded 
with the thumbnails because I don't want to be stressed out about those videos, especially during Vlogmas. So since I had an open afternoon, I just thought that I would do it now. And I only needed to finish editing one of the videos. I post a little sneak peek of what my videos will be. And that will probably still be on my stories right now because this is a daily vlog. So this will be posted well, you're watching this, so you can go to my stories and find out what those videos are going to be. In the midst of that, I kept looking down because I saw this book. My friend, my best friend who I was with this morning, actually, she will sometimes just like give me things. <laughs> it's really sweet. I think that her love language, giving love language is gifts because she always sees things and it reminds her of me and she gets them for me and it's really sweet. And it's always things that I actually like and could use, which is always a nice thing. But she got me this book, which is Mind Your Business, a workbook to grow your creative passion into a full-time gig. And that is just such a thoughtful gift. Um, she saw it at work and just thought that I needed to have it. This might be one of the best gifts that I have ever been given, especially in this time in my life, because I'm starting to see De La Plants as a business because, I, I mean, it is a business. I'm making money off of YouTube now. I don't know, I've just been thinking a lot about this and what I want this to be, and I am, you know, putting together a website, and I would love to do some sort of, well, I don't wanna give too much away, but I just have so many ideas and things, and if I could keep growing this, in my spare time, that would be so incredible. I feel like I have way too many ideas. Like I could, <laughs> I could do this full time easily, but obviously financially that's not possible. But if I could, I hope that one day it could be. So this book, it just like helps you look at your goals and mentors and community and pricing and just so many things, goods and services and. I don't know, I think that this, it's just like so nerdy, but it's so perfect. And I love that it's a workbook because it's interactive. So if you are in a similar place as me and you are turning your creative passion into a business, or you know someone who is, this is genuinely from someone who is in that place, this is a beautiful gift to give them. So if you're looking for out, if you're looking out for a Christmas present for someone, this is a good one. And Natalie, if you're watching, thank you so much. I have just been obsessing over this. So I'm going to get all my materials out for my quilting project and I actually just realized I might not be able to finish this today because Daniel and I, I think, are going to a tree lighting later this evening. So that'll be really fun. I'm excited for that. And maybe I'll just get it done sometime this weekend. I'm really not rushing, but when I said earlier that because I'm me, it'll probably be done today, I just mean that <laughs> I have a really hard time stopping something once I start. Even if it takes me like five hours, I will spend the time to do that because I cannot stand to leave projects to the next day. So anyway, <laughs> let's get all these supplies out. And while I'm doing this project, I'm going to be catching up on some Vlogmas. Some people were asking me who I watch on YouTube and I'm actually going to be doing a perfect subscriber tag. Stay tuned for that. It will be coming sometime in December. So some people that I watch that are not necessarily plant related are Aspen and Parker, classic, <laughs> Megan Grubb, Megan Hughes, Jamie Wolfer. Jamie Wolfer is a plant lady and her channel is not about plants necessarily, but she talks about plants a lot because she is a plant lover like us. So Jamie, if you're watching, hello. I'm not sure why you would, your life is so busy, so. <laughs> but anyway, um, I love her. She has a lot of like lifestyle content. And if when I'm in California, if it works out, we're probably gonna hang out. So anyway, um, those are some people that I watch. There's so many others. I love YouTube, like I've said, but those are some people that I watch and are kind of like my taste in YouTube. Everybody has like their flavor of YouTube, but those are some of mine, so. Anyway, all of this being said, I've been chatting a lot. This has been going for seven and a half minutes. Hopefully I have pared this video down. <laughs> So I have cut out a bunch of squares. As I mentioned, maybe I mentioned, this is going to be a patchwork stocking. So I decided instead of having all of the prints, oh, uh, hi Leo. <laughs> sure, come on in. 
I decided instead of having all of the prints, I was just going to alternate between two of them for each stocking. So this is going to be one of them. I kind of want this one to be mine. And then Daniel's will alternate between these two. And then Leo's, I might just make Leo's entirely out of the dog print. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure yet, but anyway, so this is the first one. I'm going to sew all of this together. I have never done this before, so I just don't know how this is going to work. I've watched a lot of quilting tutorials. I think that I could figure it out. I mean, you're just connecting all of the lines pretty much. So I have the pattern underneath here, if you can see, so that I knew like how big to make it. So hopefully this will be enough, and then I'm planning on just sewing all this together and then cutting around the edge, around the pattern. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. Leo is trying to take all the attention, as usual. So yeah, and I'm watching some YouTube while I do it. So I have made all of my pieces. It is not perfect by any means whatsoever. Like these corners do not match up. <laughs> it looks kind of bad if you look close. But you know what? It was my first time ever doing anything even remotely close to this. So I don't know. If you have any tips on how to like line this stuff up, like that one looks good, but that's the only one I think that is actually lined up correctly. So if you are a quilter out there, I know there's a few of you, show me your tips, tell me what you do, but I have my stocking piece and it fits on here pretty nicely. So I'm just going to put some weights on it and cut around it and then that is the top for this one. So yeah, that is the deal here. This is what the back looks like. It's very satisfying. Maybe if you see the back, that'll help. Like, if you have tips. I basically sewed them together long -wise, long ways, yeah. And then I sewed all of the pieces together like this. And <laughs> this looks kind of funny to have that empty, but there would be literally just no use of this circle or square anyway, so I didn't even bother. So if you have any tips, maybe all of these are not perfect squares and that's where I went wrong. That's probably what ended up happening, but I really like the way that this print like these two prints look together. Good evening. It is now 7.30 p.m. and I am just sitting on the couch. We just had some dinner. My bangs are a mess. <laughs> what is this? Anyway, we just had some dinner. We actually went to a winter festival event and it was, <laughs> it was a total fail because I feel like a lot of holiday events it's like that like festivals are like so geared towards children like they brought in a bunch of fake snow but by the time we got there it was um completely just sludge so <laughs> that didn't really work out and also there's just like a lot of like jumping castles and stuff like that so like it would be great for kids but we don't have kids and we are not kids ourselves so we kind of just walked around for a bit and then ate at one of the food trucks and we actually ended up just bringing the food back home and we started watching Star Wars. We are now on episode two, which is Star Wars Attack of the Clones. So yeah, we are in, we've been watching all of the movies over again because I have not watched them intentionally. I think that this is the one episode that I have seen. I'm going to upload this footage to my computer and do a little bit of editing while Daniel's in the shower. But I first wanted to show you the progress that I made on my stocking. It's taking a long time, but not like, there's a lot of like quick results with this kind of sewing, I guess. So basically where I am right now, I don't know where my like fabric pen is. I'm gonna set this on top of my sewing machine and just kinda like bend down. <laughs> I hope that I'm in focus. I'm sorry if this goes out of focus, but this is what I have so far, and I have, I'm just going to be doing straight across lines for the like quilted bit because I realized that I should probably have some sort of like quilted element in addition to like the patchwork. But this is what it looks like, all cut out. It looks so good, and I have the quilt batting, which is really just like the snow blanket. And now that I'm looking at the back, I can see that these are not even. Like these two are definitely bigger than these two. 
which kind of blows because without my fabric pen, it's a little bit difficult to get all the lines lined up. But thankfully, you can't really see them that well. And I guess from now on, I'll see if I can indicate with like pins or something like that where I should be sewing and where I should be ending. So I think it's going really well and I'm happy. I did not realize that it would take this long necessarily, so I'm glad that I started today. Maybe I'll have these done by the end of the weekend, at least mine and Daniel's. Leo's stocking is not as important, although it is cute. It's not like the most important thing. <sighs> so yeah, that's the update on this and I'll continue working on it tomorrow. Since this evening is just going to be watching a movie, I'm going to end off the video here. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my Saturday a little bit of sewing, a little bit of holiday market fun. <laughs> I definitely had a super good day and I hope that you did too. I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye.